In Minnesota, upland hunters have a lot to choose from. While rough grouse and pheasants get all the accolades, one of our more underrated game birds is the sharp-tailed grouse. I can only hunt them in certain parts of the state, so we travel to northwestern Minnesota to Thief River Falls with Steve Gould from the Gould Brothers Exhibition Shooters and Corey Loeffler from the DRC Call Company to watch our dogs work and to chase some birds. We even put some GPS tracking collars on the dogs to see how much more work they do than us. We're gonna track all the dogs. We're gonna see which dog puts on the most miles. Yeah. Right I know here. you're not gonna put on the most oh. miles. Put a collar on them, let's see. <laughs> I'm ready. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be fun. You couldn't ask for better weather. Warm enough that we didn't freeze and cool enough that the dogs didn't overheat. And it didn't take long for the first bird to flush. I don't know how many shells in my gun. So, there, there it was, the first Sharpie got up. Mika bumped him out of the strip and I pulled the trigger and my gun went click. I hadn't loaded any shells in my gun yet. But he landed up in front of us, we're gonna go find him. Sharpie one, red zero. Right. But thankfully, I'd get a second chance. So there's our first sharp-tailed grouse. We flushed two the first time I didn't have any shells in my gun. But uh, we got another one, Steve Gold's dog Jetta, pointed this one, and Bert flew out in front of me, and uh, there we go. Mika retrieved it, and this is what I think is really cool about these sharp tail, are these furry legs. The key to most upland hunting is to watch the dog. They'll usually let you know when there's birds around. No bird. That's nine flushes. Between the two strips here. Oh, right, coming right at you, Steve. Ten flushes. I hit that bird. Hey, heads up. Steve connects, and Corey's black lab boon tracks it down. They're not the easiest birds to hit, but uh, we just flushed two more. One of them might have been that first one that flew back down here. As sandhill cranes flew overhead, we continued our walk. And sometimes those flushes come out of nowhere and get the heart pumping. Coming at you, Steve. Oh, I got one under here too. Ah. Nice shot. They're tough. Nice shot. They're tough. But what's really funny about sharp tails is they make this chuckling noise. It sounds like they're laughing at you, which obviously that one was because he got away. As a guy that grew up hunting rough grouse, and I still love hunting rough grouse, they taste delicious, but the thing I like about sharp-tailed grouse and even pheasants, is a lot of times you're hunting them in this open country, you get a chance to, to pull the trigger on them. A lot of times with those roughs, before you're in the middle of those woods, and especially if those leaves are still up, you hear them, you don't always see them. But uh, sharpies are fun, although they do some of this, and then they laugh at you when you miss. But uh, they're fun birds to hunt. I was pleasantly surprised with the amount of birds I saw, and while I enjoy watching Mika run back and forth, it's always fun when you get to pull the trigger. And when you flush one, it's always good to keep an eye out for more. There it is, coming at you, Steve. There you go, dead bird. <laughs> we'll let Mika help out on Steve's. I'm gonna go grab mine. There's been no shortage of birds. I think we've flushed 16 or 17 now. And uh, we got a couple of them on the ground. It's been a great day of sharp tail hunting in Northwestern Minnesota. It was time to get the dogs a drink and find out just how hard they worked. We had some fun. We put some miles on. You, you want to know how far you walked? Yeah, we were. We had GPS collars on all these dogs, and uh, and we we didn't have them on ourselves, did we? No. How do you know how far I? I had them on oh, okay. myself. So and I you know... walked right close to me. So okay. Right. I put on 3.18 miles. Holy smokes! In an hour and a half. Uh, Boone put on 5.35 miles. Jetta put on 3.7 miles. She did good for five months old. Yeah, not too bad. <laughs> Short little first, first hunt First ever? hunt ever. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Mika, 5.3 miles. Ooh. That was a little run for Mika. 
Uh, Bella put on 4.25 miles. That wasn't too bad. And Red put on just shy of six miles. This little pup right here. Wow. Right. 5.96. So it was quite a fun hunt. Red wins the big contest. Red won the contest, but we all we're all winners today, Corey. This <laughs> we is, this we is will be hunt. when we get these on the grill. Then we'll <laughs> That's be right. Better. I'm hungry. Let's go eat some lunch. <laughs> Good job. Yes. Oh, this is this is made for TV. This spot.